Hey, what's up, saints? God bless you. This is Brother Brian. Welcome to Love Has a Name YouTube channel. Today is February 2nd, 2023. This is the second video of the night. I had hoped that I would be able to bring you the prophetic word the Lord gave me for February tonight, but uh, due to everything going on, I was not able to do that, and it's already about... Let's look at that it's about 11 45 p.m already it's late so i'm just going to bring you a, a shorter prophetic word tomorrow friday i will uh, make sure early in the day that i transcribe the prophetic word and that way i can bring you that prophetic word oh thank you lord <clears throat> friday evening eastern time oh thank you lord and uh, for those of you on the West Coast, it will most likely be in the late afternoon or whatnot. Amen. So I just wanted to give you that heads up. Mm, thank you, Lord. <clears throat> oh, man, the Lord is here. We haven't even prayed. We haven't even invited the Lord. He is here. I just feel his presence. Lord, I give you thanks. I give you thanks. Let me adjust something here. Amen. That way you can hear me clearly. All right, so I'm just going to move the mic actually gonna put it on me over here okay praise the lord well i don't want to speak too loud because my wife is upstairs fast asleep and i am up past midnight every night like every night <laughs> lord gives me the strength thank god amen all right well i'm going to give you a prophetic word I'm going to share one with you from the Lord to Diana Larkin. This one is dated January 19th, 2023. It is called the promise of spring. Amen. So I'm going to share this with you. We'll see if the Lord uh, leads me in any other way to speak on anything else. But if not, we'll just keep uh, the word itself. Amen. All right. Let's go ahead and pray, officially invite the Lord, get into this word, and then I'm going to share with you uh, something here on my laptop that is fresh and new from uh, the Kingdom merch store that the Lord has assigned me to, to do designs such as what you've seen on the shirt here, such as this shirt. Amen. All right. Father, thank you, Lord. Thank you that you are the one who sets our hearts oh, aflame with your passion. Oh God, baptize us with the passion of Jesus Christ. Oh, thank you, Lord. Oh, Father, I pray that your people are feeling this presence, Lord, this warmth these waves of warm anointing i release that unto your people lord god thank you lord we want to be on fire for you inside and we want the fire of god upon us just like we see the fire here behind us mm, thank you lord jesus you are alpha and omega be thou exalted in our lives, Father. We welcome you officially, Father, Lord Jesus, and Holy Spirit. Have your way and bless your people. Touch them, for your love changes everything. In Jesus' name, amen. Whoa. <clears throat> All right, here's the prophetic word. The promise of spring, January 19th, 2023. Every year, cold winter gives way to the promise of spring. Trees that looked dead come to life again and are covered with green leaves. Flowers that lay dormant spring to life and begin to bloom, filling the land with beauty and fragrance. 
Just as surely as the promise of spring comes to pass every year, so sure is my promise of victory and new life for your nation. My God. Mm, the presence of God is here. Thank you, Lord. It does not matter how dead things look because I am able to bring new life out of death. There are set times in my calendar of events and this time in your history is one of those set times. By the way, that right there, what God just spoke to Diana Larkin right there confirms what God has shown Kat Kerr in her thousands of trips in the throne room of God, that God has an event timeline behind the throne. And there are certain things that he has ordained. Oh, shakete rabo sondolaba. Haraba serebete de 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 abatoro masendirato shandi kidiraba sutuku rebete shandorosoko. Oh, thank you, Lord. I hear the Father speaking, saying, Speak from the fire unto my people. So you say you want the fire, says the living God. Well, I am that consuming fire. But if this is what you truly desire from your very heart, be prepared. For my fire will expose to you what lies in your heart. And it shall shine the light on things that even you may not want revealed. But I speak of that which you may not want revealed to yourself. You will have to. Admit, repent, lay it down before me, for my holy fire comes to consume the evil and the sin, the dross. It cannot stand before my awesome presence. But oh, the other side of this sword is purification, sanctification, a people made ready for my use. I am the master. What type of vessel do you want to be in my hand? says the Lord. A vessel of honor or dishonor? Purified gold or clay that melts in the presence of my fire. So now search your hearts if you want my fire, if you want to be used, count the cost. Did I not say that in my word? Even a soldier counts the cost before he goes to war. So now, ponder it. Meditate on it. Ask my Holy Spirit to search your heart and then come before me and ask me again for the fire. And if your offering is acceptable, my fire shall fall.
Perra passere de la botu rosha non dire bete la massa tarake. Thank you, Lord. <coughs> thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Wow. Thank you, Lord, for that word. <coughs> that was not expected. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. Oof. Uh, there was a reason that his, his presence was so evident from the very beginning. And then I felt what I have, am coming to recognize as the spirit of prophecy upon me. That's why I stilled myself. And I felt the Lord say to speak. And so I have delivered the words. Thank you, Lord. Have your way. <clears throat> All right. We're already halfway through this wonderful Diana Larkin word. Thank you, Father. And we need to finish it up. A scripture is given, Psalm 102, verse 13, and it says, You will arise and have mercy on Zion for the time to favor her. Yes, the, the set time has come. I am arising to show myself strong on your behalf. Because this is the set time to show the world my power, the strength of my army of light, and the might of my host. Together, we will bring the triumph of the light over the darkness. This is not the day that many are proclaiming where things will continue to get darker and darker. No. This is the day for me to display the power and rule of my kingdom ways. You shall have the land I have promised you. You will learn to rule and reign as my sons and daughters. And you will wash your feet in the blood of the wicked. You will rejoice that their evil plans were defeated. And the captives have been set free. Psalm 58.10 reads, The righteous shall rejoice when he sees the vengeance. He shall wash his feet in the blood of the wicked. Oh, that's news to me. I don't think I recall having read that scripture. <clears throat> Spring also reveals what is truly dead and has no life. And it must be cut down and removed to make way for new life to be planted. Prepare your hearts, not for gloom and doom, but for life and restoration. This is the promise of spring. Mm, thank you, Lord. Wow. Wow. That is a beautiful, beautiful word. Wow. <clears throat> well, we are in the month of love. Amen. And I've shared before over the last couple of days that I will be emphasizing and speaking more about the love of God. If you're on my telegram, I've already began to share with you about a wonderful man of God who went home to be with the Lord in 2008. He was known as the apostle of love. He had an encounter with the Lord Jesus Christ after praying for the Lord Jesus to, call, to come and reveal himself to him. He prayed for seven years and one day he said in his own words, Lord, if you don't come to me, I, I rather just die, just take me home because I don't want to live in this world if I cannot walk with you like Moses. That very night in a prayer service, the Lord Jesus appeared to him face to face, spoke to him for three full hours and then get and told him that I have, I have heard every one of your prayers over the last seven years. He told him, and then the Lord Jesus began to recite word for word at the time and the place and the exact words that that man of God prayed to him. Over three hours, the Lord 
rehearsed every prayer. And he said, I have come to bless you in person. And he imparted the gift of the compassion of himself, of Jesus. And then the Lord Jesus stepped into this servant of God and sat down within him. Oof. If you read John 14, verse 23, that's confirmation of that scripture. Amen. Wow. <clears throat> Anyway, that man of God, his name is DGS, that's three letters, DGS, last name Denakaran, D-H-I-N-A-K-A-R-A-N, wonderful man of God, oof, anyway, um, if you're on my telegram, I'll be sharing little clips throughout the month of wonderful, wonderful things, trips to heaven, like, my God, just yesterday I was listening, Oh, thank you for your presence, Lord. And this man of God has encountered so many of the saints in, in heaven. Not only Peter, but Paul, Mary, as in when she was on the earth, mother of Jesus. He has seen, I believe he said Habakkuk, Obadiah, uh, Moses, Abraham, and other saints who, who lived in recent centuries. My God. I'm telling you, there's so much to say. I'm not, I'm not, I can't get into it now. I get too excited. But anyway, I wanted to read this scripture to you. It is the most well-known scripture in all the Bible, John 3.16. But I'm going to read it to you from the Passion Translation in case you've never heard it. Okay, now the most common translations read it like this. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life amen so this is how it reads in the passion translation and then i'm going to show you the uh, two newest designs relating uh, that are spiritual but relate uh to valentine's i guess you could say amen um so <clears throat> all right this is what it reads in the passion translation john three sixteen. for here is the way god loved the world he gave his only unique son as a gift. So now everyone who believes in him will never perish, but experience everlasting life. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. All right, well, <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and Grab the phone, grab the camera, and I'm gonna flip it around and just show you the latest designs here on on uh, on my site here or my shop on this on, on a specific site, which I don't own the site, but I do own the shop. Amen. And so I'm just gonna show you that, and I will say uh, that I did find out it doesn't say how long this is, but right now on the site where they host my designs and so forth. Uh, there is 20% off site wide. Amen. So I'm just letting you know this is not forcing you. You don't have to buy anything, but I do have to be a good steward. And since the Lord assigned this to me, I make mention of it because that's the only way people are going to know. Amen. So let me show you uh, the two newest designs and then I'll let you go. All right, here we go. Okay, so laptop, let me just scroll up. Oh, first let me show you here what it says there. Okay, discount. There's my shop, that way you know what it looks like. And these are the two newest designs, amen? Something very, very simple. This is the first one, just super simple. Okay, just to get something up, it just didn't believe me. This takes time. Okay, it takes like an hour for me to think up a design, design it, and then it takes another hour to upload it onto onto all the the different types of products. Let me just tell you, it is not it is not something that's just super super quick and easy. So, uh, yeah. So then you would just you would just click right there, shop all products, shop all products, and then you'll find all kinds of things. All right, well, 
Uh, that is it for now. That's all I wanted to share with you. Wow, praise the Lord. Unexpected prophetic words that he had me utter. I'm going to have to go back and listen to hear what was spoken. There are bits and pieces that I kind of grasp, but I just had to go with the flow. So uh, thank you for, for watching this. I hope you share with anybody whom you believe will be blessed. And I appreciate every one of you. Um, I am about to go and spend time with the Lord in worship as I did last night. Um, I thought it was just a few minutes and it went well over an hour. Uh, just went into the Lord's room with all the lights off, had my headphones on. By the way, yeah, if you use worship and if and you have headphones, try to get some over the ear headphones and just let yourself be lost in worship. Worship is the way that you draw the presence of God into you because worship causes you to focus and put all your heart, all your mind on the Lord. You take it off of yourself, you take it off of your problems, you take it off of everything that you are going through and you just lose yourself in Christ. And by losing yourself in Christ, you find yourself and you find God. Now, when I say you find yourself, that means you find your true identity in him and your acceptance in the love he has for you. And because you minister to him, in, in turn, he will turn and minister to you. Amen. All right. God bless you. I will see you soon in another video. Don't forget tomorrow night, February 3rd, Friday night, a prophetic word from the Lord to all of us regarding the month of February. All right. Bye-bye.